assalamu alaikum students now today our topic uh, of discussion is the control of the insulin secretion and uh, then there is a switching mechanism and then we will start the new hormone which is glucagon so uh, we have already studied about the secretion of uh, insulin mm. so this is the diagram then i have told you that uh, there are glucose receptors uh, uh, in the cell and uh, when the glucose that comes inside through the glucokinase it become phosphorylated the phosphorylated glucose cannot diffuse back into the blood and then uh, by the process of uh, oxidation it the um, uh because when the glucose uh, it enters the cell it undergoes through the process of glycolysis and atp is formed and when uh, the atp is formed it will close the atp sensitive potassium channels when these channels are uh, closed then the cell membrane it become depolarized by the end, by the opening of voltage gated calcium channels the calcium comes inside which cause the fusion of these secretory vesicles with the cell membrane and the insulin is secreted through the exocytosis now there are self certain factors which increase or decrease the insulin secretion uh, so the most important factor is the increased blood glucose level as we know that whenever after meals there is increased blood glucose level insulin is secreted from the pancreas and uh, through various mechanisms we have studied it decreases blood glucose uh also the increased uh, free fatty acids it also increases uh, insulin secretion and then the increased blood amino acids um that also causes increased insulin secretion and in turn uh, insulin it uh, transport amino acids into the cells for protein synthesis uh then the various gi hormones including uh, gastrin secretin polycystokinin and glucose dependent insulinotropic peptide uh they cause a moderate increase in the uh, insulin secretion and all these hormones they are released in the git after a person takes a meal and then we have the hormones glucagon growth hormone and cortisol we already have studied all these hormone and we know that these are all a uh, hyperglycemic hormone and they increase the blood glucose level and then ultimately they increase the insulin secretion uh, then the beta adrenergic activity increases insulin secretion and then the sulfonylurea drugs uh, they stimulate insulin secretion uh, by binding with the uh, atp sensitive potassium channels uh, and so, so they block those channels and uh this uh, depolarizing the membrane and causing the insulin secretion so that's why these drugs uh, they are uh, useful in stimulating insulin secretion in patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus and then the factors which decrease insulin secretion are the uh, opposite of those that uh, decrease blood glucose fasting somatostatin and alpha adrenergic activity okay now again this uh, diagram is showing uh, certain uh, important uh, control that the major control is the blood glucose concentration next to it is the blood amino acid concentration and uh, then uh, it calls islet beta cells from the islets of langerhans to cause insulin secretion and parasympathetic it uh, increases insulin secretion while the sympathetic it decreases insulin secretion now this is a university question that what is the role of insulin in uh, switching between the carbohydrates and lipids and uh, this is an important topic uh, that uh, what is the role of insulin in switching uh, we know that uh, the major stimulus or the major signal that controls the switching is the blood glucose level so we all know that insulin it uses carbohydrates for energy and um, 
so when there is decreased blood glucose level so there will be release of decreased insulin and when there is insulin deficiency we have studied that uh, lipolytic activity occurred because of the uh, uh, activation of the enzyme hormone sensitive lipase and so uh, increased amount of free fatty acids and the fat is used for the energy except the brain but when there is increased blood glucose level then there will be release of increased insulin and then carbohydrate is used for energy instead of fat so this is the switching energy utilization alternates between fat and carbohydrates and the role of insulin is very clear then when there is stimulus for the increase insulin secretion that is increased blood glucose insulin will be released and carbohydrate is used but when there is a uh, decrease insulin uh, due to decrease blood glucose level then we have uh, fat for the uh, usage of energy here are the list of some stress hormones these are all called stress hormones because uh, all of these they increase blood glucose level they are released in stress conditions glucagon growth hormone cortisol and epinephrine 